Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So today we'll be looking into how to create a file system in FSx. So basically it's a cloud-based uh, service provided by Amazon Web Services that allows you to create and manage fully managed file service uh, file systems for your applications. So in simpler terms, it's like having a network drive in the cloud. So that is what the definition of, uh, of the service is. So to redirect to this uh, dashboard, you have to select services and you have to go to the storage. And here you can see we have S, uh, FSX, so which is fully managed third-party file system optimized for a variety of workloads. So click that. So this is how you can uh, redirect to this particular dashboard. And once you're here, let's go ahead and create a file system. So today we'll be talking about the options, uh, like various options that are present here. So coming to these uh, particular options we have discussed in Instagram channel. So to know more about, please do, my, uh, please do visit my Instagram channel as well. So let's click the Windows Server as of now and let's go next and let's talk about these options. So let's go ahead and give the name first. So I'm just giving it as test one and coming to the deployment mode. So here we have three deployment modes. So usually this one is recommended since it's a multi AZ and Amazon FSx also has a highly durable backups which are stored in uh, S3 of your file system. So you see, uh, it's uh, recommended for most uh, production workloads because there are two servers in a separate availability zones. And if one fails, obviously there will be other replica. So that's the reason it's mostly uh, you know recommended. Coming to the second one, it's the newest way to set up the set up the service for Windows, and it uses cost-effective storage on single availability zone. That is the second one. So this is a newest way. You can see the latest uh, generation uh, of single availability zone and supports SSD and HDD storage. Coming to this, uh, the last one, single AZ one. So it supports the use of uh, Microsoft distributed file system replication. That is what uh, it uses. So based on your needs, you can select it. And I'll try to create a block related to this so that you can get more information about uh, these uh, uh, things. And uh, so you see, if you select, there is no HDD. It doesn't support the single AZ. So let's leave it as default, which is uh, multi-AZ. And uh, here, uh, select the storage type, maybe HDD or SSD. So if you see SSD, it's 32 GB. And maximum is uh, this one. And coming to HDD, it's 2000. So let's select uh, the default one. And I'll just uh, select the least one, which is 32. And you see the throughput. So it's the speed at which the file server hosting your file system can serve the data. So this is the default one recommended, but however, you can change it by selecting the specified throughput capacity and you can uh, select accordingly. But in this case, we'll just leave it as default, which is 32 and select the virtual private cloud and VPC uh, security group. So this is the default one or you can change it by you know creating some security groups and you can just add it uh, here but in this case i'll just select the default one and coming to the subnets we have two different subnets so why we have these two one is preferred subnet other one is standby so this is a backup so you see since we have selected multi ac we were able to have two different subnets so if i select let's say single ac you see like we only have one so if that fails obviously the data will be lost so that's how uh, it is so that's how, the, uh, that's how the multi AZ is being recommended here. And uh, after this, you have to add the active directory. So here I don't have any active directory. For that, you have to create one. So if you have any, your uh, like own Microsoft Active Directory, you can add the relevant uh, columns, or you can just uh, select AWS Managed Microsoft uh, Active Directory. So you can also create from here. So you have to select the appropriate one and uh, add the options here. So once it is done, you can select from here. So that is how you can select here. So once it is done, coming to the encryption. So with uh, Amazon FSx uh, for the Windows Server, your data is always encrypted at rest. So your customer uh, AWS KMS key is a key that is used to encrypt the data in your uh, file system at rest. So by default, this KMS key is uh, AWS managed key. However, you can use uh, the KMS key if you already have one. So that's how it is. And uh, if you have any, uh, you can just select ARN and add the relevant uh, key here. 
but in this case, I'll just select uh, AWS and uh, coming to the auditing. So everything you see, it's optional. So if you want, you can add it or else you can just leave it as default and create it. So auditing, you see, log access to the files. So once you enable this logging, uh, Logging here, Windows generates audit logs for the files folders on which you and uh, you have enabled audit uh, controls, also known as uh, system access control list. So you can select whether you want to have list logging successful items, logging failed, or both. So when you select this, you see you have to uh, choose the destination, whether uh, CloudWatch or uh, Firehose. So based on that, you have to select. Usually I'll go with uh, CloudWatch, but in this case, I'll just leave it as uh, default. And actually, you can add the DNS uh, here and the uh, backup. You can enable the backup or disable when you disable. Like you, you see the options, so you, can, you cannot find those options. And uh, you can select the start time, or else you can just leave it as default and uh, retention period. So, like based on your needs, you can just select it. So, basically, the reason for this video is uh, just to show you the options uh, so that you are familiarized with it. And in the future videos, I'll try to create uh, uh, more videos like this. And uh, coming to this video, I hope you guys finished the concept of today's video. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.